So as much as I'd love to say that that's all fog, um, it's not. That's smoke. You can like kind of smell it or taste it or whatnot. It's all coming from the California fires and it's coming up here to Canada, which kind of sucks. So if any of you guys are down there, please stay safe. Don't go outside unless you really need to. Um, yeah. Okay guys, out from the smoke. It's really unfortunate right now. So today, if you haven't seen by the title, we're going to be looking at how to do and make a seamless transition. Now Final Cut Pro has a lot of transitions that they have themselves that you can plug in there and use. Some of them are great. You can find some through plugins and stuff like that online. They're all fantastic. But today, we're gonna to be looking at how to make your own. So this is a transition I use a ton. Uh, I love it. It makes it look really seamless. It makes it look really sharp and quick. And it really catches the viewer's eye. So this can be used with, with absolutely anything. I just picked a mug myself, my Disneyland mug, so I can kind of give you guys an example on how I do this. So this first clip right here with my mug, as you'll see, uh, I'll come across this normally, I'll just be showing the mug completely fine, but this transition is key, because obviously when you're making transitions, it's gotta go from one clip to the next. So what I'm doing as I'm starting to get away from the mug here, I'm quickly panning away to the right in a fast motion. And what that'll do is in edit, I can speed that up, as well as it gives that a nice blur effect. So what you'll see in the next clip here, what I'll do is I'll position myself towards toward the left and I'll pan in towards the right really fast. Therefore, my last clip since it was panning out towards the right really fast and this one's now panning in from the right really fast. It pretty much just looks like you went from here and just went whipped right around and, and it was just there. And these are key with an edits because what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna end up matching both those blurs from each clip and it's gonna look like one. So what I do here now in this next clip is what I'll do is I'll look at the mug again, all cinematic, and what I did here now instead is I decided to pan downwards so that my next clip, as you'll see, is that I went from above and I started panning downwards again. So it looks like I kind of almost like a bit of a flip frontwards. And so like I say, guys, the key thing here is with these transitions is to make sure also in edit, we're gonna end up speeding those up and we're also gonna be matching those blurs so it all looks like one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to my computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit that. Okay, so I've gone and I've organized all the footage here on my computer. Uh, it's gonna be short, I only got three clips in there as you can see. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and look at the first clip here. So as you can see, it's simple, it starts off, you can fix however the beginning, however you want it to be, fix it up, it doesn't really matter. What we're looking at here is right about here when you get that blur effect of when you want to make that transition. So I'm going to go back to here and play it from here and go, okay, yeah, that looks good. And then as soon as it pans there, I'm actually going to speed that up because I'm recording to 120, right? So it's going to be slow motion pan, but I want to speed it up as much as I can as well. So once it gets a bit, so probably from right here, I'm going to clip this here and find where it gets a bit blurry. And this will take some adjustments a bit. So I'll probably go to may maybe here. I might end up shortening that actually. And then I'll go and speed this clip up by maybe four times. Might go more. No, I think four times looks pretty good. So I don't need any of this. We can get rid of that. And now I'm looking at my next clip. So here I have the mug now just kind of sitting on the ledge. And what I'm going to want to do is find the beginning of it when it blurs. So where does it go? Right here. Here? No, setting up the rate, right about here. I'm gonna say, okay, so right about, I'm gonna get rid of that, that, and say it does its thing there, and it comes back into focus about, kind of about here. I might, I might bring the, uh, the end of that one down as well, but we'll see. And you wanna keep them both the same speed if you can. So if I did four times speed on the last clip, I wanna do four times speed on this clip as well. So if I go back, okay, see how that looks. See the transition pans out. Fast, fast, boom. Okay, so it looks a little long. I don't want it to be that long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna clip the end or the beginning of the second clip down a little bit where it blurs. It seems a little long to me. Let's see what happens here. We'll go from here, it'll go. 
explore into there. There we go. Okay, cool. So it looks like it kind of went right into one almost. Cool. So I've got that clip there. So what I'm going to do is because the next clip that I have, I end up panning down as you can see like that, right? So it comes along and it pans itself downward. So what I'm actually going to do is that clip lasts a bit longer than I expected it to. I'll end up kind of doing a bit of a jump cut here. And what I'm going to do now is look to where it goes down, so there, probably good there, so we'll get rid of that portion. And now the next clip here, the last one you have, is see my mug sitting outside here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for because I came from upwards and I came down back on those. So I'm going to look at where it was, so I was upwards above, there's my head, there's the roof of the house, there, and it comes down. This clip might be a little different. Um, because of what I didn't plan for, and I should have mistake on my part, is that I'm coming up, I'm going down into a really kind of dark area, if that makes sense. Like right on the last clip here, you can see I go down to a darker area, right? And but then I'm coming up from a lighter area, so that might look a bit off, but I'll see what I can do to fix that. So yeah, I'm wanting to take this. Oh, you know what? That doesn't look that bad at all. That kind of works. I like that. Out of focus here. That's on me, but uh, regardless of that, we're just looking at the transition, so that's not bad. Okay, so we'll play from the beginning here, so we'll see the mug, looking sweet, Disneyland, Main Street, love it. Uh, and then you'll see right here, the first one, motion blur itself into there. I That one could be touched up a little more, but I want to make this kind of just give you guys an idea, short and sweet for you guys. And then the next one here, we should pan our way into... Cool, so there, I didn't speed this clip up yet, so what I want to do, and whip itself through. Okay, that actually kind of worked, I like that. Yeah, anyways, that's how you guys do the quick kind of smooth, seamless transition. It looks really good, you can actually even add some sort of effects in there to make those blur even more blurry if you really want to, but I wanted to make it as simple as possible. I really, really enjoyed it, I think it looks really good. Um, it could be tweaked up a little bit, but like I said, I want to make this kind of short and sweet for you guys, nice and easy to do. And yeah, it looks really good. I like it. Obviously, you can add some music to that, some coloring, make it look really cool. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So with all that being said, I'm going to go eat a pizza because I have not eaten and I'm really hungry. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Already blew up, man, I know I would okay Who the hell is you to tell the dude that I ain't great Play my work, then work my plan, and now I'm on my stray I soak up the love and I repel all of the hate Big Sage, huh?